So we are now going to do rotation with GeoGebra. So I've opened up Chrome. There's our GeoGebra. And let us get the font size up like we talked about the first time. And I'm going to move the grid out of the way. So we want to do rotation. So we're going to start with the polygon. Again, so go non-regular. Now, rotation needs a pivot point. So let's just pick one of the points on the, uh, we're just going to use C. What the heck? So let us rotate. So click on the polygon. Click on C. And notice it pops up this point, how far we want to go and which way we want to go. Be careful when you do this that you don't get rid of that degree symbol. You got to have that degree symbol on there. Otherwise, it does something different. Um, so let's go with uh, 140 degrees counterclockwise. Click OK and boom. There's it turned it 140 degrees. So if we move E, E moves correspondingly. Let's double check that 140 aspect. Oh, if I move my polygon, get it there. So it doesn't, it's all attached, so nothing else moves because it's attached. Again, we're going to double check that. Um, let's go ray. From here through here to E, we're going to look at E. Are the E separated by 140 degrees? Well, let's find out. Let's measure the angle. Angle is a given snap that's making an angle. Just measure the angle. If I click on the two rays, is it going to measure for me? Yep, measure the other way. Uh, undo. Depends on which way you click things. There we go. It is 140 degrees. So E got turned 140 degrees counterclockwise. Now let's go with a point not inside. So let's delete all that. A point not on the vertex. So again, make a polygon. And we need a pivot point. They're calling it G, that's fine, because it just goes alphabetical. And now we're going to rotate. So again, we click on our rotate. Click the object, click our pivot point, and pick an angle. Let's go 110. But let's go clockwise this time. So it turned it this way, 110 degrees. Notice the orientation, E was pointed left, E prime is now pointed kind of upright. Yeah, we've turned around G. How do I know we turned around G? Well, as I move things, I want to grab the whole thing. Stop, let me grab the whole thing. There we go. It's turning around G. That's our pivot. It's 110 degrees always. Now if we move G, you see we're going to get closer, get farther. Okay. Let's double check the 110. So we want to draw some rays. Let's go through C. It's the closest well. It just looks right. It's just there. So let's double check. Let's measure the angle. And it says we measured the angle backwards. That's okay. We're going to just measure it the other way. Depends on the order that you click things. Clockwise, kind of clockwise aspect. So, 110 degree rotation. That's what we were trying to do. Now, I wonder if this is going to let you color things. Because when you have the software, you can actually color things. Now, it doesn't have all the tools. Because in the software that you download, you can actually right click on the object and it's going to come up with properties that you could make dash lines or color things but the app can only have so many features in it so that is rotation